<laughs> Guys, JoJo bows are banned in schools. No! Actually, I don't really care. It's fine because I don't wear the JoJo bows. I'm sorry. I wear hats and bandanas. This is what little JoJo Sewell used to look like. What the heck? This was back when she was shorter than me. Right now, she's like double my height. And she used to wear shirts that said, I like big bows and I cannot lie. Oh man, the new generation is uh, screwed. It's over, it's not looking good, not looking good. But man, today we're gonna be checking out some ridiculous things that are banned in schools. And JoJo bows are apparently banned in UK schools because they don't comply with the school's official uniform dress code because they're a distraction. I'm a distraction. <laughs> what, I'm not? Hey, 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 geez, it's not fair, don't be mean. But before we keep going, everybody, please click that subscribe button, turn on the YouTube notifications, and join the squad. And comment down below your favorite color. I mean, JoJo over here looks like she likes green. Me, my favorite color is black. Not because I'm black, because I'm wearing black. Anyway, JoJo bows are banned in UK schools. Girl, you better get that out of here. Woo, but let's see what else is banned. We got free hugs. Hey, hey, dangerous touching like high fives, hugs, and tag are banned. Are you serious? A school in Brampton, Ontario. Shout out to Ontario. A school in Brampton, Ontario uses the motto, no loving, no shoving, to enforce a rule that students cannot make any form of physical contact with each other. Why don't you just send me off to solitary confinement? Jeez. Psh, if you didn't want me to show any love, why don't you just send me back home with my family? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a sad day, um, you know, sometimes you just can't show any love, can't show weakness. <laughs> Students say the rule criminalizes innocent displays of friendship. They know the difference between hugging a friend and kissing someone in the corner. Hey, who said it has to be in the corner? <laughs> am I right? Am I right? Yeah, man. Oh, dang, girl. Can you do a split on the grass? I mean, this girl backed it up and she broke it down. Wow. Sorry, we're supposed to be reading the rules. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yoga pants and leggings are banned. Why? A high school in Massachusetts updated its dress code by banning yoga pants and leggings on the grounds that they are not appropriate outfits for people who are learning to become adults and enter a workforce soon? Girl, you better get that out of here. I know some people are looking to join the workforce. I joined the workforce. The YouTube workforce still counts. Yeah. I love how this girl just casually decided to do a split, like perfectly on the white line. I mean, she is trying to make some of us guys thirsty. Woo! And it's working. And at the bottom it says, plus the opposite gender gets distracted, obviously. I mean, dang, I'm I'm not distracted. I'm just, you know, uh, just, I'm, I'm focused. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty dang focused right now. I mean, geez. And why does this school have so many girls? I mean, where were these girls up at my school? I mean, there were girls, but they weren't, you know, they couldn't do the splits like that. Just saying. But yeah, shout out to all my classmates. Bruh. Nope. Love you guys. DJ Khaled, another, another one. one. Snowball fights are banned, what? Look at the boy in the back. Gee, he is looking like he is about to murder this girl. What did she do to you? You gotta throw a snowball when she's not looking? Face her like a man, come on now. Just north of the border, peace hangs in the balance. Danger in the form of adolescents, Canucks, whatever that means, let me know in the comments down below. Lurks around every corner. These terrifying agents of chaos have a weapon of choice. A weapon that Toronto school officials yearn to eradicate. Yeah. You thought I was gonna mess up on that word, didn't you? Eradicate. The deadly snowball. Oh my gosh, you're gonna ban snowball fighting? What? You can't even get hurt from like getting hit in the face with the snowball. Trust me, I've been hit in the face with a lot of ball, or er, a lot of snowballs. Come on, girl, turn around before you get smacked in the back of the head with a snowball. I like her outfit, her nice pink beanie and her pink scarf. I like that, I see you, girl. I don't know what this girl did to you, little boy, but like he is looking to get revenge today. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, this dude has like the eye of the tiger in his eyes right now, man. That's the same face like all murderers give. Like, that's ridiculous. Sad to say this was the last photo we saw of this girl alive. No, no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. She's fine. I'm sure she's fine. Let me know in the comments down below. All right, moving on. Evolution. Smith Cotton High School. What? That is the most racist thing. Discrimination. Smith Cotton High School? What, because I'm black? What kind of high school names their school? Smith Cotton High School. Okay, maybe somebody's last name was Cotton and another person's last name was Smith and they put it together, but that school name does not have a ring to it. Hey bro, what school you go to? Oh, I'm at a uh, Smith Cotton High School. 
<laughs> Smith. <laughs> Cotton. <laughs> High school. Uh, what school do you go to? Oh, I go to Black Watermelon Academy. Yeah, right down the road. Tiger Pride Marching Band Brass Evolutions 2009. Okay. Or at least the word itself and any depiction of it. Smith Cotton High School in Missouri banned the school band's t-shirts after they depicted the evolution of a trumpet player. Wow, wow. So evolution is banned? I mean, come on, man. Look, we all know it happened. We all know that man came from monkey. No, I'm just kidding. I, I, we don't know for sure but you know they claimed it was too controversial after receiving a number of complaints from creationist parents mm -hmm. you know what why don't schools just not teach anything okay how about that why don't we just teach how to be a YouTuber? Just do that, and then you'll be good. You'll be Gucci Mane. Oh, wow. I mean, I don't know who their designer is, but, you know, y'all could have done better than that. I know it's just a high school. I'm going to cut them some slack. No, I'm not. Boy, your marching band flyer looks Android quality. I mean, come on. Man, you better cut that out of here. Next one. We aren't allowed to dab? Oh, no. <laughs> Look, the dab is dead. I know. I understand. But this kid, I mean, they really went in on that dab, and they probably just got suspended right now. They probably took that photo right after they were suspended and, you know, sent home. Why can't you dab? What if you actually have to sneeze and you're like, Hachoo! Hey, I said no dabbing. But I just sneezed. I don't care if you poop your pants. No dabbing. Hachoo! I swear, this kid does not care at all that he's not allowed to dab. Like, if you tell a kid what not to do, guess what? They're gonna do it, okay? You tell the kid, don't touch the stove. They're gonna touch the stove. It's ridiculous. I'm sorry, but you know, kids, they're not the smartest. You just gotta let them be free, all right? Just let them do what they want within reason. But don't let them dab, okay? Let them do the floss. Let's keep it going. We aren't allowed to use chapstick. <laughs> oh, dang, that's sad. I remember when I couldn't use chapstick back in the day yeah man it was tough times back then but you know it's all good and this girl's lips are chap jeez her lips look like alligator skin <laughs> what the I'm, I'm sorry i'm not look I'm, I'm gonna stop roasting her but but jeez come on how are you gonna get a date if you don't use your chapstick you guys can let me know in the comments down below why would they ban chapstick like it's not like we're smoking it all right this one says we couldn't dance at prom unless we signed the no grinding contract <laughs> oh y'all school sucks okay at the school that i went to they always said leave room for jesus and i was just like look i just want to dance with a girl we're not gonna do anything inappropriate we just want to dance and have the freedom to like not have to stand five feet apart but i feel like there's very few schools that let high school kids dance the way they want to dance you know so you, you gotta just i don't know it's just a school if you want to dance how you want to dance then go to a friend's house and you know do what you want to do there but hey it's not worth getting sent to detention or getting suspended for okay especially getting suspended for dabbing jeez all right last one uggs are banned and wow, I don't think anybody even wears Uggs anymore because, you know. Hey, you crazy white Starbucks girls. Uggs are out of style. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. This is sad. I've never seen so many white girls all gathered together in one place. I mean, dang, there is not one black girl in sight. What the heck? Racism, man, discrimination. An American school banned Ugg boots from its premises for a simple reason. They were a way to hide a cell phone in the classroom. Trust me, there's more than one way to hide a cell phone in class than just to hide it in your Uggs. I feel like Uggs should be banned even outside of school. I mean, geez, you know, the government should be banning Uggs. I mean, come on, y'all. Don't you know that Fila's are the new style? Like, like, come on, right? Or Vans, right? Jordans, no? Man, banning Uggs in school, girl, you better get that out of here. Oh, and just like that, we good, we Gucci Mane. Thank you guys for watching the video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please slap the like button. It's gonna help support the channel and help it grow. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Turn on the YouTube notifications. That way you get notified as soon as I post a new video. And add me on Instagram, at DangMattSmith. You can DM me, you can talk to me on there. All the cool kids are doing it. And click on the screen, check out another video. Love you guys, have a great day, and I'ma see ya next time. Peace.